Meanwhile, this morning, Baptist Hospital is administering its first round of shots to a small group of employees. And while the hospital received its shipment on Thursday, the hospital system waited until today to start giving the injections. Our 12 News reporter Kara Willis was out there. Kara, tell, tell us about the process here. Nick, this was just a trial run for a small group of hospital employees. The hospital has set up a vaccination clinic and the staff wanted to make sure things run smoothly so they can administer more injections on Monday. This week continues to be historic for frontline workers who received the first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. Dr. Ray Callis, a BOMA anesthesiologist, was among the first to get a vaccine at Baptist Hospital. Dr. Callis had his own fight with COVID-19 earlier this year, so for him, today is very meaningful. And he's hopeful Southeast Texans will follow his lead. And people will have faith that the vaccine will do what it's meant to do, ending this pandemic once and for all. It was exciting for me because I think this is what America needs in order to get us out of this uh, crazy time we're living in. I would highly recommend to get off the fence. Uh, it's not a live virus. It's uh, totally a protein of an mRNA, and so I would recommend everyone get this. Dr. Callis says that if you're worried about the side effects, that he didn't feel the shot at all. You may feel a bit of fatigue or a headache after receiving the vaccine, but this shouldn't stop you from considering taking it once it becomes available to you. As always, do your research if you have concerns. On Monday, more hospital staff members are scheduled for their turn to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. To learn more about the vaccine distribution process, you can learn more on our website at 12newsnow.com coronavirus. In studio, Kara Willis, 12 News.